It's the first day back of my exercise regimen. The hard thing at the moment is we've got a bit of a heat wave, so it's hard to get motivated. But I felt pretty keen, and it's uh, reasonably early in the morning still, so I'm starting with the treadmill. Just taking it easy, going for a walk while I listen to a podcast that goes for about 40 minutes. I use some very light weights just to do some arm and shoulder exercises while I'm walking. I like to do that. I like to combine a bit of uh, arm work while I'm walking on a treadmill. So I'm going to take it slow and steady, not go crazy. When I started uh, on the 1st of December 2020, I went pretty hard for quite a few months. I lost a fair bit of weight and got fit, which is good. But along the way I did get some injuries and some uh, hurt and some prevented me from doing as much exercise or any for a while. I've got my uh, mongoose hardtail that I've had anywhere between 12 and 15 years I've had it and it's done me pretty well. I've done quite a few upgrades on it and I'm just waiting for a couple more upgrades. One being a dropper post, some wider handlebars and a new bell because my old bell was rubbish. So I've been looking around, my budget's not real big but I have found a deal. I'm not here to promote any particular brands or anything but the bike I'm getting is a, a 2023 Giant Stance 2 and it fits my budget. There's certainly a lot better bikes out there. Anything's going to be better than the bike I've got at the moment which doesn't have rear suspension. That's why it's called a hardtail obviously. Anyway, I do like riding. I'm often doing it by myself which is unfortunate. There's so many trails around here that I've already done. I think ahead and I think, oh, when am I going to get a day and I, where I put myself off? But what you do is you just get on the bike and you just start riding with no plan. Three hours later you come home having done 60 kilometres. <laughs> so take plenty of water and a snack with me. I pretty much just make it a day out. So we'll see how the new bike goes, which uh, I might get within the next week or so. So what's my exercise routine? I've modified it quite a few times since uh, 2020. Actually, I'll go back a bit. How did I get into my exercising? I used to be reasonably active through my whole life. When I left my last career due to mental health reasons, I was lucky enough to get into a, a pension. At least I've got a sustainable income, but my headspace wasn't good. And so there was a lot of sitting around in front of the computer, wasting my time, getting very unfit, putting a bit of weight on. Not necessarily a lot, a huge amount of weight, but I've never been large. I was about 15 kilos overweight. Anyway, I saw Mike Tyson with his comeback fight with Roy Jones back in 2020. He's only a little bit older than me, so it was just a bit of an inspiration to get off my butt and start doing something. So I had a heavy bag and I started hitting it. So part of my routine is cardio work on the heavy bag, try to walk every day and uh, cycling. There me three cardios and I usually do the walking every day and I'll alternate with the riding and um, hitting the bag. I would do that every second day and on the other days I would try to do weight work. You gotta glide into weight work easy at my age, otherwise you can really do some damage. I tore a pec muscle for a while, it knocked me for six months, I, you can't do anything. It constricts everything you do, except your legs. So anyway, I've learned a few lessons. I don't mind using the uh, workout bands and I, I will start using those to ease into it. They're pretty good that way and it'll probably take me a while before I'm really pushing some heavy weight, heavy weight for me that is. I'm sub 72 kilos, times that by 2.2 to get pounds, around 156 or something. I don't know, something like that. I did manage to bench press my weight and then I actually pressed uh, 100 kilos. Not sure if I'll get back to that, it does take a bit of effort. As for my diet, when I first started, I had the calorie counter going, measuring everything, weighing things. I knew exactly what was going in, what was going out. I don't do that anymore. I did that for about, uh, probably just over a year. I learned a lot about my eating habits and stuff like that. Not that my eating was really bad or anything, but I definitely had some, some bad habits. So I've cleaned up my diet a fair bit. Don't eat certain things, or at least I've reduced certain things a great deal. 
um, I just eat more sensibly. So even though I've been reasonably slack for the last several months, some of that is for reasons that are in here. Well, I guess all the reasons are in here, aren't they, when you don't want to do something? There's no motivation and inspiration. One day it just sort of hits you and you just start doing stuff again. So I can't say what works for me will work for you, but I get motivated by just getting sick and tired of my situation. <laughs> so I'm determined to make those differences. Although cycling, I always continue with cycling because I just like to get out. But it's definitely hard to do weight work. Walking is easy enough. Just go for a walk every day. Listen to a podcast. You should be able to do that. If it's a hot day, wait till the end of the day or do it early in the morning. If it's hard to get up early in the morning, I know how that is. Go okay, late in the evening. It doesn't matter if it's dark. Put a head torch on. I guess that depends where you live. I'm lucky where I live. So do whatever you need to do to motivate yourself. It is good for you. Eating and exercise. People have been saying it for years. Eat right. Keep active. And it's good for the body. Good for the brain. It's true. I know some people have a difficult time um, being able to do it for various reasons. Medical reasons. Health reasons. Certain conditions certainly do um, make it challenging. So you've got to adapt it to suit yourself. Just do something small every day. Consistency is the key, and I haven't been consistent. Oh, that's what I was going to say before. So even though I'm a small fella and did manage to push a fair bit on the bench press, in all the time that I was uh, slack over the last several months, I actually haven't put my weight back on. I've maintained it. I've just been really busy in the yard doing a lot of gardening and stuff like that. So in a way I have been exercising, but not official exercise, if you know what I mean. You just gotta do something, you gotta get outside. It's good for your mental health. Today's day one, a new day one. And actually what motivated me today was a video of myself I saw last night, which was, which was about motivating myself. <laughs> just uh, when you don't feel like exercising. And I saw that little video and uh, I said, damn it, I've gotta do this. So I'm out here this morning on my treadmill. It's gonna be a damn hot day today, luckily enough. I know I'm lucky I've got this shed, all my gym equipment's in here, and I've got a good fan blowing on my back, and a bottle of water. So that's all you gotta do. I'm only walking. We'll see where all this goes. Hopefully I'm still at it in one month's time, six months' time, 12 months' time. It does get harder as I get older, but I can do it. I'm gonna be 57 this year, not far off it now. But I'd rather end my life still being reasonably fit and healthy and not incapacitated relying on other people. That would be my nightmare. Anyway, that's about all I've got to say. Still got a little while to go on this treadmill. I'll see you next time.